for our meme exercise, we're going to be using Photopea. You can open up Google Chrome, type in photopea.com, and you should see this screen right here. Click new project. Give your new project a name. I named mine Mr. Etheridge meme. And our canvas size is going to be five inches wide by seven inches high. So make sure that this box right here says inches. And now we hit create. So here's our canvas right in front of us. Now we will need to import the image we will use. If you go on to empower and under our destination add playlist, there is an activity for our meme that we are making. And there is a link to the photo we will use. Once you have downloaded that photo, go ahead and hit file, open and place so that we can place that photo into our current document. And there it is. Now, before we can start modifying the image, we first have to rasterize it. So go up to layer, select rasterize. If you noticed on our little icon over here, there was a small um, box that disappeared. That means that we are now working with a rasterized image. Now I want to use a smaller part of this image here. So I'm going to go and select my lasso tool. And with this, I can select a very specific uh, free drawn area of my image. I'm going to trace in a wide area around the section that I want to keep. And coming back to our beginning, now we have a dotted line around the area we want to keep. We can go ahead and hit edit and cut to remove it from this layer. Down in the right hand corner, we want to create a new layer we can do edit and paste to place our cutout shape onto our new layer. Now it looks like it's in the same place, but if we use our move tool, we can freely move our selection anywhere we want. And we can select the old layer with the rest of the photo on it and hit delete. This will remove it from our project. Now make sure you select the, the layer that you want to work on. I can hit transform controls up here to make it bigger. Remember to hold down shift when you adjust a shape or photo in order to keep the proportions the same. Now I can start to remove some of the excess space around the back here. I'm going to be using the eraser tool. And this lets me eliminate some of that empty space. If I want to make my brush bigger, I can go up to the left here, hit this drop down arrow, adjust the size to be bigger. And now I can eliminate more of my image much faster. So once you've erased enough of the background, you can go in with your zoom tool down here at the bottom and really get into that finer detail. We want to erase all the way up to our subject. If you need to make your brush smaller, So you can, once again, get to those smaller areas, erase the background. And you'll continue this for the rest of your image. 
I can zoom out to see the whole picture once again. And once you finish with that, you can then change your background color. So we want to select our background, select our paint bucket tool. And now we create a black background. Now, once you've erased that background from the image and you've changed the background color of our document, you can use the text tool to add whatever text you want. Be sure that up here, your text color is different from the background and something that will stand out. I'm just going to use white. Hit OK. Now I can click where I want to start typing. If I want to adjust the size of my text, I can highlight it and go up here to adjust how big or small it will be. So for your meme, you want to have three components, the cutout image as your subject, the background color, and then any text to make this a meme. A meme. Once you're done with that, you can hit File, Export as a JPEG, and this will turn it into an image, which you can then upload onto Empower. And that is how we're going to do our first exercise.